So I'm not even joking, I am sick again. <coughs> so at this point, I really do think it's a problem with my immune system. So I've honestly been procrastinating making this video mainly because I feel like as I, you know, if I make it, it's like, wow, this is really happening. And this huge change is, is just around the corner, you know? And this is the last day I'll be in this room making a video. I'm moving across the country. Fuck the stigmas moving across the country from Los Angeles, California to Baltimore, Maryland. So I'm excited. I think now I'm at this point where I'm really excited about this. I think I went through the the thing of okay that's kind of far down the line like i'm not really gonna think about it too much and then it started creeping up and then i'm like okay now i'm getting a little sad i fucking love la i love the community we've built out here i love everything i love a lot about la the only thing i don't really like about it is the prices for everything and the la traffic besides that i i honestly really this is an amazing place and I've had an amazing experience here. Yeah, and it's not just the place on its own, it's the people I've met here, the connections, even the events we've done with Fuck the Stigma and other organizations is a big part of why I love it here. But Fuck the Stigma has been presented with an opportunity to kind of grow and expand and move to the East Coast and we're going to Baltimore and Baltimore specifically does need a lot of help in terms of treatment and access to care and social support services. So we wanna make a change out there on the East Coast and specifically Baltimore. I am beyond grateful for, oh my gosh, we've done, we've only been up and running for a little over a year and a half and we've just done so much in terms of content, in terms of outreaches and events and, and connections with other people and getting people into treatment. And it's just amazing. It's so beautiful to see and Fuck the Sigma is something I'm super passionate about. And I really, so like I never saw myself leaving LA. I was like, yeah, you know, um, I, I could see myself living here for like another decade or something. But I fucking just love Fuck the Stigma so much. <laughs> I'm just like, dude, I wanna go wherever Fuck the Stigma goes. And it's not like we're abandoning or leaving the LA community. I'm gonna be coming back every so often. Like I'm sure if to do events or something or to see people, whatever, whatever it is. But yeah, now that it's been creeping up and it's, kind of getting to the point of, oh yeah, you're about to move. And you're gonna have to pack this little studio up. I got a little sad, literally March, it's March as I'm filming this. The past three weeks, honestly, I have just been lazy and somewhat just sitting on my ass and bed rotting and doing nothing but playing video games and eating. I think the one really productive thing I've managed to do the past few weeks is just go to the gym. I just kind of, I don't know, I think that was part of my grieving process because it's a big change. But now I kind of like literally kind of hit me yesterday of like, you know what? I'm so motivated and I'm so excited. Like that sadness about this, this thing. I, I feel like I've gone a little past it. Um, and that's normal. Like I'm not beating myself up for feeling a little sad about this. Like it's, it's a big change. And I'm moving to a place I've truly never been before. But it's really for like a good a good purpose and we have a mission and I think it's gonna be great. And also when I started Fuck the Stigma, I had no idea what I was doing or how this was gonna go. So it's really just amazing to see how I've grown through this process and how the platform itself has grown, so.